hey people you're welcome back to my channel you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome yeah as you know this is the extra step ceo youtube channel where i share business ideas tips that can help you grow your business i also share on this channel platform software products that i use in my everyday life being a young and new entrepreneur myself if this sounds interesting to you and um you know you would really want to be a part of the discussion that happens on this channel and you are yet to subscribe wow please subscribe and when you subscribe it's that notification bell so that when i upload new videos you would always know you're welcome to join the extra step ceo youtube community and to all my existing subscribers thank you for always coming back like you make it happen every week every upload is because of you so let's go into today's topic my previous series about improving and learning skills online i received tons of emails people telling me oh it's not what it's why I encourage people to go for online courses oh why 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 do you think online course is is best because it works for you doesn't mean it will work for everybody fine these are all valid points and as well i received feedback of people saying oh thank you that's so encouraging i'm just i'm just getting to know about these platforms thank you with that being said let me share my tips on um online courses like these tips had helped me and so as many people that i've spoken to about it i know it's the i know they found it very valuable I, I, i've done a number of online courses and i am still doing it like I do not see myself fine probably in, in the nearest future maybe i'll sit down in a class and go in for lectures but i don't see myself now going into any physical classroom with when i can get it done online no no way i can't be talked into that okay so let me go into the tips that helped me the first tip is make sure you find out make research as in thorough research about these platforms like don't say because oh someone did it so it's going to work for me no know about the platform very well go to their frequently asked questions so that you will not be surprised that after all said and done they'll probably tell you oh in this region we don't offer i mean we don't offer courses or we are not giving you certificates after you've put in so much effort okay so the first thing is what is this platform about ask questions send them emails they have almost every platform now has social media presence send them email send them messages on instagrams you know if you are able to call call go to the frequently asked questions page know the questions people are asking and see the answers the platform is giving them then as you are asking questions about the platform generally know about the course that you want to go in for like oh you want to go in for photography or copywriting check the courses they have on photography check their um, instructors most of these most 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 of these platforms have different instructors like it's just like a marketplace for skills as well so read the reviews on every courses they know the outline i cannot um stress this enough know the outline don't just say because oh photography be sure it's not photography for beginners it's not where they will teach you how to clean lens how to <laughs> you don't want to go into a course of how to clean lens when you're already a professional photographer so that's the first tip know the platform and um know the course outline then number two please it's an online course so all your tools your internet speed must be very fast don't don't bank on a slow internet for any online course you will be tired and you get frustrated and you you won't you you won't see value in such programs so the number two thing is all your tools that you want to use the internet being the number one tool and your laptop or your phone sometimes should be functional it must be something reliable yeah this worked for me just make sure these things are 
properly fixed before you start any course, otherwise you would abandon it. Then as much as you rely on your laptops and your and your internet and your phones, you need writing materials as well. Maybe it's just me, but it worked for me. I love to write. So as I type on my laptop, I write as well. Like that helps my knowledge retention. So I'll be right. set a personal goal. Okay. Why are you going in for this particular course? Are you going in for profitability or you just want to enhance your own personal development? Like profitability in the sense that you want to go in there because, oh, it's a way I could make more money and I'm, I'm going in for video editing because I want to help people edit their videos and I'll be paid. Or I'm going in for video editing so that I can improve on my YouTube videos. That's what I mean by personal and profitability. We just want to go in and just update your knowledge of what you've known and say, oh, then this is number four, time management. With online learning, you need to be serious and you need to allot time to it. Like, okay, maybe it's, it's, maybe it's a five hours course. I want to finish it in the space of two days or three days. You know, put, in, put it into your daily schedule and follow it up so that you can achieve it. Not just, oh, you pick up your laptop today and do 30 minutes or you pick it up tomorrow two two minutes no time management is key otherwise you will not get anything done especially if it is free this is something that happened to me when i just started and before i know it i just abandoned so many of these courses like oh i got distracted so time management is is a skill that would help you while you are going through any online course that work for me because I started with a lot of free online courses when I started my online courses, I, I was not serious about it. I would just do it halfway and abandon it. Then one day I just sat down like, why waste so much time when you know you will not follow through? And then I now realized that, oh, it's because it's free. That's why you're not taking it serious. I now did two paid courses. Oh my God. You should have seen how fast and <laughs> and how serious I took that because one money was involved so I knew that there must be a return for this money when I took these paid courses I was able to apply that same <laughs> that same value when I went back to do some free courses like oh that paid courses the paid courses helped me in seeing value in the online online learning platform so if, that, if you're like me I would advise you one or two paid courses. You will be surprised at how serious you will take the free ones. That's that's a tip that worked for me, and I know if you try it, can improve your knowledge retention by acting fast. You know, learn, execute immediately. Whatever it is that you learn, execute it immediately. Like oh, I just learned a video editing skill today. You will see me tomorrow putting it in my video, putting it <laughs> like, so as you learn, execute and teach, look for a, maybe a Facebook group that talks about video editing or a Facebook group that talks about copywriting. So whatever it is that you learn, forget about, forget about the fact that you are giving them free. With giving free values, people get to know that, oh, you know what you are talking about. And when they want paid values, they will come to you first. Forget about the fact that you are just learning it all. Don't be timid about the professionalism, like I'm just learning this thing. Nobody wants to know. They are not interested in knowing if you are just learning it. What they need is the value that you have to give them. So as you are learning this online, look for avenues to teach. Look for avenues to even sell out. Like, okay, you need someone that can help you with your graphics. Yes, I know you are just learning it. Start start making money from it immediately. You don't have to be a professional in it. You, nobody would ask you for your certificate. Like, oh, you said you know about video editing. Show me your certificate. Who wants to know? Or, or who wants to know how you got to learn it? What this need is the value you are bringing. So as you are learning these skills, implement, execute, teach, make money. Yes, you don't have to wait. Share tips, tricks, anything that can help you 
in getting things done, in helping others. In this way, yeah. You are being known, you are being recognized in this. Because of any online course that you go into, maybe it's free, maybe it's paid, it's dependent on you. Your attitude towards it, that's what matters. Be disciplined and, and put in the effort and make sure you push through. Nobody says it will be easy. Of course, you're working, you're only trying to learn about this skill so that you can put a commercial value on it. But then, Take it serious. Okay? Take it serious. These tips have helped me in no small measures as far as online courses is concerned. Any other if it has any... helped you in your online studies, please feel free to share in the comment what section. Today. And like I always say, there is value in every information that we receive so let's take it seriously and let's continue to share and impact people thank you if you are yet to subscribe to the extra step ceo youtube channel what are you waiting for subscribe and hit the notification bell and on these platforms we give values thank you and bye now and see you in the next one be good and stay blessed